Level, and everyone there is at risk for altitude sickness. As we told you last night, high altitude and dangerous conditions played a role in the rescue of a 68-year-old man on Mauna Kea Monday night. At least four deputy sheriffs and one attorney general investigator were evacuated from Mauna Kea and hospitalized for altitude sickness. So this is by far the hardest thing I've ever done in my life, probably. We came, we came to the visitor center of Manak, right there. I don't know if you can see it, right there. And we show up unprepared as hell, apparently. They told us, uh, they asked us how much uh, water we have per person. And we were like, oh, all together we have around two and a half liters of water. And then the guy looks at us, <laughs> the guy looks at us and he goes, now you need at least three to four liters per person. But thankfully, got some more bottles. And um, oh yeah, what else did he say? He said that he asked us if we ever climbed in an altitude before. We said no. <laughs> like uh, this is the highest I've ever been. The visitor center is the highest I've ever been in my life. So I've never experienced altitude. I've never had altitude sickness. He looks at us. He goes, "Well, this is the highest." elevation change in a short period of time that you can experience in the world <laughs> anywhere in the world and uh, he told us that there's people that do Ironman triathlon all this all this shit and he tells that they struggle usually so <laughs> fun fun but it's not stopping us we're gonna make it to the top hopefully we make it down before sunset the scenery so far is unbelievable that right there it's meant to be Mauna Loa, which is uh, only around oh, like 200 meters, I think, lower than Mauna Kea. And also, Mauna Kea is the tallest mountain in the world, technically. Oh my god, I need to catch my breath. <sighs> Mauna Kea is the tallest mountain in the world, because if you count it from sea level, it's supposed to be 10,400, 500 meters, I think. But only the top, top 4.6, 7k above ground so let's see it's a volcano that's dormant it's been dormant for six to four thousand years i think they said and yeah <laughs> the footage sucks but you try to record when you're <laughs> in such high altitude walking this trail oh yeah i'll, I'll check in later with you <laughs> So quick update, we're well above the clouds now, as you can see. We've been going for about 45 minutes at this point. Uh, a few things I forgot to mention is, uh, yeah, the oxygen levels. It's very interesting. Apparently, well, not apparently, at the sea level, oxygen levels are always at 100%, right? But uh, when you get up to the summit, apparently it's around 57, <laughs> which would be, will be quite a shock I think for my system. Another interesting thing is uh, we came here two days ago tried the summit and they sent us back because there's some invasive goat species or pigs and stuff and they eat like the, the plants, uh, endangered plants here in Mauna Kea and they had, they had a hunting season for them basically. <coughs> there was open hunting season for those invasive species and uh, they told us if we had to go up, we'd get shot. So, they turned us around. But um, now they say we have to stick to this trail. Otherwise, everything to the left here is uh, open hunting zone. <laughs> so basically, I don't know how they'd confuse us with pigs or goats, but there's a big chance we would get shot up here. So yeah, it's best we stick to the trail. Also interesting, you see all this the plants here right and as you go further up you see zero life up there 
which is very interesting. But yeah, quick update. It's going okay. We're tired of this shit, <laughs> but it's good. We're enjoying it, Stay, taking it step by step. And yeah, I'll give you an update once we're almost at the top. First time seeing the summit. We're halfway there. We're almost there. <laughs> this has been the toughest thing I have ever done in my life, probably. But we're almost there. So, I'm back in the visitor center. We made it. It was, yeah, final thoughts. That was the hardest thing I've ever done my entire life. Like, you can't even see the summit from here. That was, oh, that was crazy. Not gonna lie, like, my legs are on their last strings. I don't know how, if you say it that way, but no, nah, like, like, that was, that was a lot. That was quite the accomplishment, that was probably, the hardest thing I've ever done, one of my biggest accomplishments for sure that I've done, so we made it, <laughs> we survived and it was worth it, so I don't know if the footage is good from the top because I was so dead, I don't know, I, I don't, I don't know if I held the phone correctly, but yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>